When you look at it personally, what do you feel? Well, I feel that the war continues. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 controversial monuments from around the world. And now it's igniting the discussion that we've all been looking forward to. For this list, we'll be ranking international statues or monuments that either have troubling backstories or have otherwise courted controversy. Did we leave any out? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Che Guevara, La Higuera, Bolivia The image of Ernesto Che Guevara means many different things to many different people. For some, he's a revolutionary symbol for freedom, while to others, he represents callous and bloodthirsty murder. This is why a statue of Guevara, located in La Higuera, Bolivia, has become so controversial. The statue isn't the only monument to Che in the world, but that hasn't stopped some visitors from pointing out the brutality of Guevara's actions during the Cuban Revolution of the 1950s. Although the intentions of the Guevara monuments are likely to promote feelings of freedom and social justice, not everyone sees these intentions in the same light. Che Guevara has become one of the greatest legends and icons of the 20th century because he continues to represent the very example of the complete revolutionary, ready to make every sacrifice to build a world of fairness and solidarity. Number 9. Peter the Great Statue, Moscow, Russia Question: Do a monument's physical aesthetics come into play when deciding its cultural worth? Some seem to think so, as the Peter the Great Statue in Moscow, Russia has been labeled as ugly by many of its detractors. This is despite the fact that the monument is intended as a tribute to the Russian Navy, which was established in part by Peter. Additionally, historians have pointed out the statue's odd location, given that the real Peter the Great was actually a great critic of Moscow as a city, and would have likely have preferred such a monument to be located in St. Petersburg. After all, the city does bear his name. Number 8. The Brown Dog, London, England the brown dog statue in London may seem innocuous enough on the outside, but the real tale behind the monument is no laughing matter. The small terrier statue that stands today is actually a replacement for one that was destroyed in 1910. This occurred due to riots over the ethics of medical vivisection experiments on animals conducted at the University of London. The original brown dog statue was also the scene of frequent clashes between animal rights activists and members of the medical community, with the monument becoming a frequent target of vandalism. Even today, there are calls for the original brown dog to be recast and erected alongside its successor. Number 7. Monument of the African Resistance in Senegal Dakar, Senegal Conceptual ideas of national monuments can bring with them feelings of patriotism and pride. However, the actual cost and execution of such a monument can become a sticking point, particularly if that country is experiencing a financial crisis. The Monument of the African Resistance in Senegal was erected in 2010, nearly five years after construction first began on this tribute to Senegal's independence from French rule. Critics immediately protested the cost of the monument, however, calling out then-President Abdoulaye Wade and his government for mismanaging Senegalese funds. Furthermore, Wade claimed he was owed intellectual property profits from the statue, which held a price tag of over $27 million. Number 6. Memorial for the Victims of Nazi Military Justice, Vienna, Austria The controversy surrounding this monument deals with a subject that is itself also quite controversial, military desertion. In the case of the Memorial for the Victims of Nazi Military Justice, however, this desertion seems somewhat justified, as it pays tribute to those who deserted Germany's Wehrmacht during World War II. Defenders of the monument point to the decision of these executed victims as an act of peace against a fascist regime, while still others point to the actual act of desertion as being a criminal offense. Ultimately, the controversy here with this monument may lie within the eye of the beholder. Number 5. The Valley of the Fallen, Madrid, Spain Francisco Franco is one of the most notorious dictators in history, yet this former head of Spain still retains certain memorials to his name within the country's borders. With its 150-metre cross, the monument is colossal. Franco's brainchild, the dictator opened it in 1959 to great pomp and ceremony. The Valley of the Fallen is one such monument, an area that is largely seen as a standing legacy of Franco's rule and a place where many of its supporters still seek to visit. 
This is despite Spain's efforts to remove symbols of Francoism within the country's architecture and infrastructure. More than half a million people died during the civil war of the 1930s. An estimated 150,000 were killed by Franco's regime, which ended with his death in 1975. But public opinion is divided over his legacy. The Valley of the Fallen's historical use as a labor camp, as well as comparisons to Nazi concentration prisons, add to the area's controversial reputation. Can you picture a monument 20 kilometers away from Berlin in honor of Hitler, or one 20 kilometers away from Rome in honor of Mussolini? I don't want that for my country because I want to have a country that is democratically advanced. I'd want to put an end to that abnormality, and so does the Prime Minister and Spanish society. Number four, Yasukuni Shinto Shrine, Tokyo, Japan. Monuments to fallen military personnel can be found in countries around the world, but the Yasukuni Shinto Shrine in Tokyo, Japan is a little different. This is due to the names of convicted war criminals that are inscribed within the shrine. Soldiers who fought during the First Indochina War, the Two Sino-Japanese Wars, and the Boshin War. As a result, the Yasukuni Shinto Shrine has been the subject of controversy, despite the fact that its intent is to honor any and all who died in service to their country. The country's former emperor, Hirohito, even stopped visiting the area in protest of the inclusion of these aforementioned war criminals. Number three, Christopher Columbus, Boston, Massachusetts. The statue of Christopher Columbus in Boston, Massachusetts isn't the only monument to the Italian explorer located in the United States. However, the controversy associated with Columbus's reputation has increased exponentially over the years, to the point where the Boston statue was actually defaced back in 2020. I gotta come down here and see it for myself. I live here in the North End, so I said, let me drive over here and let me see what's going on here. Protesters decapitated the statue on June 9th of that year, due in large part to the overarching movement of social justice in the wake of George Floyd's death. This isn't the first time this Columbus statue has been vandalized. It was doused with red paint back in 2015 with the words Black Lives Matter spray painted on the base. Similar criticisms have been launched over statues of James Cook in countries like Australia. Today, the Boston Statue of Columbus has been removed, with a tentative new home to be located in the city's north end. And now it's one of many in the country coming down in light of the uprising against racial injustice. Number two, Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain Park, Georgia. Welcome to Stone Mountain Park. We're so glad you're here. Hey, did you know that there's actually another relief located in the United States that features famous historical figures carved in its face? You know, besides Mount Rushmore? Actually, perhaps infamous historical figures might be a more apt description, since Stone Mountain is seen by both critics and defenders as a tribute to the American Confederacy. This is due to the depictions of three Confederate leaders, Stonewall Jackson, Jefferson Davis, and Robert E. Lee, on the rock. These images are individuals that lost a war, that wanted to, to maintain slavery, that wanted to maintain a way of life that excluded my people and other minorities. Beyond this, Stone Mountain has also achieved infamy due to its association as a meeting place for the Ku Klux Klan, leading many to decree the area as being in need of a renovation, i.e. removal of the facing. Attempts to remove the Confederate history here, the prominent carvings, failed due to Georgia law on monuments. Despite that, there has been two years worth of ongoing community meetings to transform the park's identity. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one. Statue of Baphomet, Salem, Massachusetts. To some, it's a defiant bronze monument to free speech and free will. To others, it's a blasphemous mockery of sacred and honored principles. One thing's for sure, however, the statue of Baphomet, just like the fallen angel near Madrid, certainly makes a statement. It was created in response to a monument of the Ten Commandments placed here on the grounds of the state courthouse in Oklahoma City. Ultimately, the temple says that's where they want to place their nine-foot statue permanently. It was first unveiled in Detroit, Michigan by that city's chapter of the Satanic Temple. It later made headlines when chapters in Oklahoma and Arkansas utilized the statue to protest the inclusion of the Ten Commandments monument outside those states' capitals. Baphomet would legalize the Ten Commandments and uphold First Amendment principles. A failure to accept Baphomet will surely result in a legal ruling 
demanding the Ten Commandments monument be taken down. Both events succeeded in raising the temple's public profile, even earning them a 2019 documentary titled Hail Satan. Great day to be a Satanist. I believe it and I'm very excited about it. Today, the statue sits in Salem, Massachusetts, a fitting place for such a firebrand of controversy. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.